Welcome back to the Temecula Valley National Horse Show. My name is Paul Von Peterson, and you are watching SJU TV right here, right now. And we're doing it like nobody else does. Well, we're going to go to Wednesday night of earlier in the week, and we're going to see a special ceremony where we honor Hap Hansen and Susie Hutchinson. Tonight is a really special night because we're honoring Hap and Susie, who have been two of my idols since I was a kid. So that's the most important thing to me, is um, paying respect to, to people who have been so amazing in our sport. Tonight we're here to celebrate this horse show and mostly Susie Hutchison and Hap Hansen, who are two of our most respected people in our sport, and for good reason. Between the two of them, they've won probably 200 plus Grand Prix. Susie doesn't keep track. <laughs> So, <laughs> well, you know, we know Hap does. We know Hap's won 99 Grand Prix. So, yeah, so we're here to support them because they are icons in our sport. Do you need a reason to celebrate and party? <laughs> Hap and Susie both. Oh, my God. First thing that comes to mind is all the help they've given me ever since I've been to this West Coast here. Unbelievable uh, sportsmen. Uh, they, love the, they love the horses. They love to compete. And uh, they always bring out the best in everybody. Tonight's a very special night for me because uh, uh, we're going to celebrate uh, two beautiful legends from uh, California that are in the Hall of Fame. And uh, I've, I've uh, duplicated their Hall, uh, Hall of Fame plaques. And uh, we're going to present that to them tonight. I'd like to call Hap and Susie up here. Uh, when I was a kid, I used to wear a pinky ring. Like Hap Hansen, and I used to tilt it to the side. And I used to try to walk like him, think like him, talk like him. I failed miserably in all aspects of it. But I remember when this man would walk into a room, I would shake with, with pride, and, and, and I felt like a star was in the room. Same thing with Susie. When they would walk by, the energy that they brought and they carried was so unbelievably inspirational for all of us. You two people have no idea what you have done for all of us in here. It has been a great couple of weeks. This is the end of the three weeks. I've been all three of them. They've been fantastic shows. Annie E has done a fantastic job. We have some legends among us, right? Um, we don't have many people in the Hall of Fame from California, yeah. and I plan on honoring every one of them. Um, I think that's an incredible accompli accomplishment, and those two people have meant everything to California. That's the least I could do. I owe a huge gratitude to Marty Bowman and his staff and his team back in Kentucky. They, uh, were, we've been planning this for over four months, and, um, and I'm really proud of how, how that night turned out. And those Wednesday night parties, you know, I, I, that's going to be a staple for us. We wanted to do an exhibitor party every Wednesday just to thank the people that have been here in supporting us, from sponsors to riders, trainers, grooms, everybody. Yeah, we're so thankful for everybody believing in us our first year. Mr. Eric Neve. Hi, Paul. Hi, Eric. Now, tell me a little bit about your impressions from this week and the weeks all the way up to this last one, and your your thoughts on uh, this incredible venture that Ali Nelfarujan has embarked upon. I think that is a word to use, incredible, because this is the very first time 
uh, Ali Franci and their team are organizing a show like this and it has been fantastic from the since the very first week and I think that every everything is perfect here to have a great great top high level show in the future I mean the location is amazing the fooding is fantastic that the best in California maybe in the country even when it's warm you know there are a lot of trees and uh, it's, it's a great location and the organization is fantastic. Tell me a little bit about what it feels like to be at the finish line of this incredible vision that you had long ago now coming to fruition. Exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> What's next for you after? What do you guys do on Sunday night? Sleep. I'm really excited to sleep and do absolutely nothing. I don't think I'm going to leave my bed for a week. <laughs> now, I hear, a little bird told me, that you are going all out for seven weeks in 2019. I can't confirm or deny. I don't know what's happening yet. We have a uh, we have a lot of uh, we have a lot of possible opportunities. As long as it ends up being something that is good for my sport and good for my peers, you know, I, I want to really help in this industry. Then I will do it. Thank you for coming. In a word or a phrase. How would you describe Ali Nail Ferrugian? Humbled. And that's the story, and we're sticking to that. We'll be right back. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.